Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. It is, of course, once again that time of the week in week number 10 of the NFL season that uh, the Swinger and I get back together and give you a couple of our best plays. Well, last week, the Swinger kind of bit the dust just a little bit, but it could be it could be the kick in, the kick in the ass that he needs to try to catch me here before the end of the season because he is running out of time as I am 14-5-1 uh, and one on the year. The Swinger is an even 10-10. Ten ten. Swinger, how you doing, buddy? Uh, how, how, do you, how are you going to catch me, one, uh, and B, uh, what do you got for us here uh, for your spread tonight? Well, I think the only way I'm going to catch you is with uh, in a Lamborghini, baby, because uh, I, I am just really, really just having a difficult time. Now, you know, if this was all sides, if we were just picking sides, I would have had a shot, but these totals just been dragging me down. I'm telling I'm gonna you, go audit, I'm going to go audit the, the spreads and totals and give give the uh, give the viewers here a little bit of a, 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 a split look at what they've been like. Maybe you have been beating me in the spreads wise because I've been doing pretty good in the totals. But yeah, definitely the totals well, burned us both last week. That's for sure. No question about it. But this year I've got uh, this year actually this week this week you don't even have to <laughs> no. wait till next year. Uh, this week uh, for the sides, uh, I'm looking at the Rams. Rams Bears. Uh, Rams are at home. They host the Bears and I you know I like the Rams to the Vikings um, the very similar teams they both have top-notch defenses uh, they've got explosive runners uh, with uh, Todd Gurley and Adrian Peterson and um, take a look at the Chicago Bears and you can say well you know Chicago Bears they took on the they, they took on the Vikings uh, a few weeks ago and they only lost by a field goal but they're gonna lose by a lot more this week and I'll tell you why um, the Bears hosted the Vikings, let's not forget, in the familiar confines of Soldier Field, whereas this week they're going to be in St. Louis. And they're also playing on a short week uh, due to their Monday night extravaganza in San Diego where they beat the Dolts 22-19. The San Diego Chargers, just just the most heartless, gutless team you ever wanted to see. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to digress. In my estimation... The Bears have been playing over their heads, if you want to call a victory over the Chicago, uh, over the San Diego Chargers, um, playing over your head. And the Rams are really a an absolute, honest to God, force on defense. They're going to make Jay Cutler cry for his mama because Rams rank fourth in pass defense, third in sacks, and that's going to be enough to keep Cutler in check. They're going to have to go to the ground, but I will tell you that the Rams are five and one ATS in their last six games in Week Ten. They're five and one ATS in their last six games as a home underdog of uh, three and a half to ten points, and the Bears. 6-13 and 13, their last 19 games following a straight-up win, as they did last week. And they're 18-38-1 in their last 57 after allowing more than 250 yards passing in their previous game. I will, I will confess that is kind of a, uh, a nebulous, esoteric stat, but one I will use nevertheless. Play St. <laughs> Louis, minus 6.5. And, and by the way, Heritage right now has St. Louis at 6.5. So all the majors have 7 you can get underneath that hook, underneath that seven. You got to do it. Yeah, and even the seven is you're getting it even money at a couple other shops too. So it's not necessarily like it's a bad deal to go either either one of those. I guess necessarily. I I don't know if this is one I'm gonna jump after. I can see where you're coming from definitely, and I'm, I'm I would be I think on the verge of agreeing and, and siding with you here on the Rams. I just don't think I'm gonna you know I just don't trust Nick Foles to to cover anything more than like three and a half points. You know I just I can't I can't do it. But I, I agree with you where you're coming from. Bears have definitely been playing over their head. That's for sure. Uh, San Diego. Oh, yeah, uh, disappointment to say the least. Maybe maybe the most disappointing uh, team of the season here so far. But uh, pass for me on that one. I'm uh, going with a another road favorite here this week. Call me square if you want, but I cashed the one last week, even though that game was ugly. And uh, the Eagles got me at minus uh, two and a half here on the on the road. But this week, a little bit bigger of a road favorite. Carolina Panthers in Tennessee playing the Titans, who have been playing a little bit better, uh, obviously, here since uh, Wizenhut's been fired, but uh, not ready to uh, think that they're going to cover against the Carolina Panthers here, even at home. Uh, Cam Newton is a force to be reckoned with in this league. Um, you know how I labeled Tony Romo an elite quarterback, like, way, way earlier in the season? And he, you know, he's hurt a little bit, so like, I don't know if I can back that up too much, but Cam Newton might have joined that club if Tony Romo got knocked out temporarily, because this guy is just so much fun to watch, and even though their offense is, you know, still a little questionable at times, they still run the ball really well, and I don't trust Tennessee's defense even at home here to stop Cam Newton and the boys, and especially on the flip side here, the Panthers' defense is going to make Marcus Mariota's life a living hell on Sunday here, even it, though it is uh, in Nashville, Tennessee with this one. I think the laying the points here with the Panthers, not a bad play. Actually, I think maybe one of the better of the favorites I think this week despite being on the road what uh, where, where do you think give me give me a one to five star ranking or maybe like a no play here what do you what do you think on this one 
this one is a complete and total pass for me. Um, and I'll tell you, it, you know, if you're if you're brand new to sports gambling and you say, OK, you've got the eight and no Panthers and you've got the Tennessee Titans that, you know, you, you lump with the uh, Detroit Lions and the Tampa Bay Bucks and all the dregs of the NFL. And you say, you know, the best playing the worst. By God, I mean, I don't care if they're where they're playing, if they're playing on the moon, but I mean, they've got to be two touchdown favorites. I mean, that's what like the the, the novice, the rookie will see, and, and you can understand it. The thing about it is, is that I don't share your opinion that uh, Carolina is an elite team. I, I'm not ready to make that leap. I think they're a very good team, and I don't think that Tennessee is in the cellar. I, I mean, I, I really believe they're a team that is going to be about average. They may not be yeah. there this year, but they're approaching that. So I think that that kind of um, that kind of narrows the gap for me. And while it wouldn't surprise me to see Carolina win this game and, and for you to cover this, um, it, there's just something just so funky about these games where you're looking at a spread that you think should be a touch, at least a touchdown or more, and yet it's under there, and you think, why? And I think that's the reason is that our, our perception uh, sometimes outweighs the reality of the thing. So I'm gonna, this, is a, this is a no play for me. I can see how you know. I can see how it would look. You know, obviously, if from one side you think, okay, the Titans looked really good last week, got the win against New Orleans, they're going to be overvalued. Then you look at the Panthers; they've played three straight games at home. They could potentially be overvalued here in their first road game in about a month since beating Seattle. But you know, it's just it is it is a little too good to be true. Some it does kind of have that feel a little bit here. But the Panthers, you know, as long as their defense holds, and you know, it hasn't been great here against the last two weeks, but I think still against a team like. Like Tennessee, they could bottle uh, bottle up Mario to possibly keep him under 20 points. I think that's good enough to get the cover here. But uh, that'll do it for our spread picks. Make sure you check out our video on the uh, two totals as well. Cross your fingers for us on those two, folks. But uh, okay. until then, uh, for Swinging Johnson, I'm Jordan Sharp. And uh, best of luck to you on all, in, all your NFL picks this week.